going on guys it's your boy Evan you know I'm always up to this today we're actually gonna do a little bit of maintenance on the truck we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna change out that uh, air filter because you know the stock air filter does get dirty accumulate a lot of dirt especially when you drive the car every day or you know through everyday use it gets dirty and uh, that filter is dirty as hell so we're just gonna go ahead and change it we're gonna throw in a drop-in style K and then filter something cheap nothing crazy because we're gonna change out the intake anyways later down the line and then we're also going to go ahead and change out some of the uh, oxygen sensors on the truck because I believe they are getting a little bit worn out, getting a little lazy as I saw on the scanner. Um, so there, it's just a, something we should do. It's a maintenance item and I always like to make sure the truck has a perfect air fuel ratio and everything's running up to date. So we're going to go ahead and change them. We got four of them. So they're basically the same top and bottom. So we're going to change them out. And hopefully the truck runs a lot better, a lot more smoother. And then uh, there's an another set of um, maintenance items that we're going to go ahead and change. But for now, we're just going to do this thing. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and change it right now. And I'll show you guys what I do. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, I went ahead and removed the sensors. So two downstream, two upstream that pretty much have the same plug. Um, yeah, same, same plug. Uh, for the downstream as well as the upstream so they're pretty much the same so it gave me a hard time so I actually had to heat these suckers up uh, using a propane torch and then I was able to get them out because as you guys can tell I don't know if there was anti seize put on these suckers or not but shoot I was able to get it out so you can tell the um, I don't know if you can tell but it actually um, that's rust actually hardened on top of the threads it made it difficult for it to come out but i was able to get it out so now we got the new one right here so put some anti-seize on it already had but i put it a little more and then uh, we got the rest of them in here so i'm gonna go ahead and take them out install them in the car fortunately i can't get a camera underneath because i don't have room and it's kind of difficult to see um, me putting them in and me removing them because, you know, I'm going to get in the way of the camera and I don't want to block everybody's view. So I figured I'd show you guys uh, the sensors pulled out of the vehicle. So I got them here. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of them in. And then I'll show you guys uh, the top area of the car. We're going to open the hood, put in the filter, clean throttle body, mass airflow sensor. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'm going to get to it. All right, guys. So we're back over here at the uh, top of the car so uh motor is a little dirty we're going to clean it up once the weather gets better so i'm going to go ahead and remove this intake now the clamp was already broken so oh shoot gotta be careful now the clamp i mean the uh, hose clamp was already broken so i'm just gonna gently remove this just put it to the side and we're going to clean the throttle body clean this sensor oh, gotta be careful oh shoot did I break it no I got like it and break it so I'm gonna go ahead and clean out the outer body Oh shoot, that thing is bulging. So we gotta replace that. This is gonna burst. We gotta clean the motor. We got some stuff to do. Once the weather gets warmer, I'll go ahead and clean the intake. And change this filter out. Clean the uh, throttle body plate over here. Uh, already changed the sensors. That was a tough job. Those sensors gave me an issue because. There was no NDCs on the thread, so it made it difficult for me to actually <clears throat> remove them. But I got them off with some heat to them, so I took my time, got them out. So now we're going to clean this bad boy up and uh, get it get it ready. 
Um, I like to make sure that the car has the recommended maintenance done to it so this way it performs and doesn't break down because nobody wants a car to break down in the middle of the road so I always got to make sure maintenance is done this is where the car lasts and actually dries well so I'm gonna go ahead and change this stuff out I mean not change it I'm actually gonna clean it and uh, we'll put everything back so I'm gonna get to it All right, guys, well, we're gonna use some compressor here to knock some of this stuff from inside the intake box. And then we're gonna drop in that new K&N filter. And then we're gonna go ahead and clean this throttle body out with some throttle body cleaner, clean that mass airflow sensor and the tube that the air goes through. And now we're gonna put it back in and then uh, that should be done. And that should be a wrap because it is pretty cold and I'm out here doing this. So yeah, let's get to it. So I grabbed the vacuum real quick. I'm gonna vacuum and remove some of the dirt that's in here. This way it's nice and clean for the new air filter.
So we ended up cleaning the uh, throttle body with some throttle body and intake cleaner. So just wiping it down, remove any of that residue, any of that dirt, uh, oil buildup or whatever was around the blade. So almost done. So just get one more hand over it. If there's any gunk off. should be it all right guys so i went ahead and i cleaned the mass airflow sensor now i was going to pull it out but i didn't want to break this because it is a little bit tough to take out and i don't want to break it since i'm going to replace this anyways i figured i could just take the clamp loosen it off i mean loosen the clamp take the um lid from on this side off and I could spray the inside with some of this mass airflow sensor cleaner and never use anything else except for this stuff so I sprayed it in cleaned it up and then uh, we're gonna just put it back the way it was put the new air filter in put the lid back on put everything back together and we'll start the car and see how it goes Nice and shiny red air filter. I'm just gonna drop this bad boy in here. Nice, fits perfect. It's already pre oiled, lifetime warranty, and engineered to add performance. My ass, but, anyways, let's just put this uh, to the side, put the lid back on, put everything together. Oh, let's clean this out real quick. Okay, that's in. Okay. Oh, the flashlight fell. Water needs a nice cleaning. So once the weather gets warm, I'm gonna show show you guys how I clean it. Get a nice pressure wash, move all this dirt and grime. This car should be perfect. And then we gotta do maintenance and some goodies and add a little more power to it. So stay tuned. We got more videos coming. So let me finish real quick.
right guys so as you guys can see we ended up putting the O2 sensors in now I didn't get video of me putting them in because like I said I don't have clearance or room to put a camera down there where I'm working and I didn't want to put my hands in the wind and blocking the whole view so obviously for that reason I did not put a camera down there to film it but you guys saw that I did remove the sensor so I ended up putting them on threw in some extra NTCs on them just to make sure we don't have any rust issues and they're very difficult to come out because I had to use a whole lot of heat to take them out because whatever doofus or idiot put them in forgot to put NTCs and they gave me a hard time so I ended up putting some extra NTCs it doesn't hurt so we did that and then we came up here we cleaned the throttle body plate then we cleaned out the air box and then dropped in a high performance as I say doesn't do crap but just doesn't um, get as dirty because I can easily take a hose and some air cleaner I mean um, some air filter cleaner spray it get the dirt out so I don't have to waste 10 bucks 30 bucks whatever the amount is to get a uh, filter from the auto parts store so it's easier for me to clean and that's why I like this type of filters so threw in a KN filter and then I cleaned the intake tube and then the mass airflow sensor put that stuff on and that's about it so I will change the intake later down the road but for now just wanted to do some maintenance to it just to make sure uh, air, air fuel ratio is up to, up to par and uh, intake is nice and clean as well as the mass airflow sensor because that stuff does get dirty and it can throw the uh, readings off on the car so I wanted to go ahead and clean it out make sure the car runs good and uh, you know slowly get it to uh, where it needs to be maintenance wise and then we'll start doing some goodies to it so definitely stay tuned guys and with that being said guys definitely be catching you guys in the next video